Hey guys and welcome to another Pez 2013 video. Today Swansea City against Paris Saint Germain. Now I wanted to do a game that was going to be intriguing and difficult and uh, really kind of showcase the AI maybe and see if it really is a challenge and I did this before uh, when I played Southampton against City but this one's a different story and Swansea City they're a great team they've done really well over the last season but they're up against a team that has just gone crazy over the summer I brought in players like Levizi Ibrahimovic Thiago Silva and we will see how we get on now I'm playing this with no support settings so it's going to be a real challenge but that's what it's all about of course superstar difficulty as always and I've made the camera a little bit lower to try and uh, give it more of a broadcast feel for you guys but let's see how we get on today and see if PSG can dominate today I've opted to go man marking as well on Ibrahimovic uh, as well as Nini and uh, Pastore as well. Really got to try and keep it as close as I can here. Uh, here's a good chance now for uh, Swansea, Britain. Who had a fantastic game against QPR. I mean, they were just on sensational form. Dyer, great ball, Rangel. Whipped in, it's easy for Sirigu. Of course, when you score five goals on your open game of the season... You know, pre-season went pretty darn well. Here's Nini. Looking for Ibrahimovic. He's in on goal early on here. And it's already 1-0. And it's only taken them a couple of minutes. He got a little bit fortunate. But there was nothing fortunate about the finish here. Long ball over the top. Nene played him through. Got a little bit lucky there. But a one-touch and bam. Bottom corner. Fantastic finish by him. It's what he can do. And if you leave him on his own, there's only going to be one outcome here. He just smashes that in the bottom corner. 1-0. So, of course, Chelsea played Reading. Today, 1-4-2. Uh, I didn't manage to catch the game myself. I was out working and stuff, but uh, apparently Torres' third goal was offside. But it did make all the difference at the end because Chelsea did score in the 90th minute as well. But it happens. When you're at home, you get that little bit of luck. Here's Guzman. Good challenge. You're left to Pastore. They really need to get on him. They cannot afford Swansea to concede more goals. Bob Mir. Yolette Ibrahimovic. It's a good challenge. Delango. What I do enjoy about Swansea is the fact that there's a lot of pace up top. Dyer, Routledge, who's on the bench, Sinclair. And they are a fantastic passing team as well. I think they were in the top five uh, teams in the league last season when it came to the passing stats. The story, he's done well. Skips around one, two. Lays it to Allen. And the defenders did well. It's out for a corner. Cleared away. But Mir. And that seems to happen an awful lot as well. Whenever there's a corner and the ball comes out. I know it's been happening every single year. The AI seems to opt to volley every fucking ball. But this year they've decided to make every volley bounce off the ground and go 50 feet in the air. I'm not sure why they've done that. But they need to fix that. Because let's be honest, not everyone shoots when it comes to them on the edge of the box. Oh shit, it was a long ball. Sinclair, will he get there? He will. Guzman. He's looking for a, some movement, not getting much. And in the end, he's giving it away. For story. play Williams now when you put it on no support the ball I don't know the ball seems to move a lot slower obviously when you even have it on one support bar the ball opts to just move at a quick pace Maxwell against Dyer Sissoko Thiago Silva 
Maxwell was giving it away Dyer inside Allen up the line this is better that's a good challenge by the Brazilian that's what 42 million will get you Nene comes forward Ibrahimovic was that a foul? referee said no Guzman Sinclair to Graham gets it wide to Taylor the space here that's a good challenge and Pastori will pick it up oh, unlucky again always looking for something in there oh, sh yeah, is he going to get it? he is, Dyer's on his way he's looking for Graham he's not the quickest player but he's good presence up there he's a physical player Monk will start again that's not a bad ball over the top but it will go straight through to the keeper oh that's a not a great ball Dyer's had a go oh he was unlucky I just wanted a snapshot as quick as I could and right here he just couldn't get enough bend on it it was a little bit all over the place when it came to uh, the shot but it was unlucky So what do you guys think? Do you think PSG are going to be a threat this year? Are they going to be in the Champions League? I definitely think they'll be in the knockout stages with the quality they have. You would expect so. Well, I think Ibrahimovic is going to be a big threat in the French League. It's a good ball in! Oh, it's unlucky. Just missed everyone. You know, he's one of these players that the French League will suit him very much like the Italian League did his diet wants to skip round his man defenders did well Nene skips round one good challenge oh, for f come on who's there oh, Sinclair managed to pick it up Sinclair what's he going to do with it terrible that's what I mean the manual there you've got to get it spot on Britain did well Sinclair gets it wide to Taylor it's unlucky it's all a little bit cagey though for Swansea they're trying to find an opening and it's not easy for them oh that's a great ball Ibrahimovic is in on goal that's fantastic defending by Williams and that is even pathetic pass at the end though <laughs> oh dear good header by Williams once again see same things happen they do it every single time they need to sort that out I mean look at this they've gone from one extreme to the other the last four years they volley them probably in the net now they're just bouncing them over the crossbar Konami pull your finger out here's Dyer trying to skip around his man but it's a good challenge Britain to Allen trying to look for Graham who's just not getting in the game at all Swansea playing this 4-3-3 formation which it's a difficult formation to play against a, a team like PSG and that is why it is Swansea nil, PSG 1 at the break you can see there really hasn't been many chances been tough for uh, anyone to create anything if I should put Leiter on ok we'll see if he can do anything push him clear up a little bit see how that goes second half now So just the one change, Alita coming on for Graham, who barely got any touches in the first half. Anna and uh, Augustin, of course, coming on for Britain. That's a foul. Someone asked me, sent me a message about the defending. And, uh, oh, that's a good effort, unlucky. Asked if it was better than last year's, and I have to say, yes, it's an absolute mile better 
than the shambolic implementation they decided on last year. Because now, I mean, right here, I can jockey him now. You know, I can jockey, jockey, whatever. I can decide when to make a challenge. The AI doesn't just skip around you nine times out of ten. And overall, just a more enjoyable experience. Here's Dyer. He has got some pace. There's the stumbling animation, as always. That, I'll tell you what. A couple of things that need to be fixed, and I will tell you that right off the bat. First of all, the volleys from corners are pathetic. They need tweaking, changing. Second of all, they need to fix the stumbling animation. Do something else. I mean, if that's mocap, how on earth do you do that on mocap? Oh, he's Nene! Good save from the keeper. You get some retard to come in and do a stumbling animation for you. Very nice. Uh, probably the third thing I would say. Sinclair hits that wide. I mean, Sissoko. Um, they need to fix some of the uh, advantage rule plays that the uh, referee will give. Sometimes he'll give them, sometimes he'll just completely ignore them. Uh, you know, John Murphy, who is obviously the head of the European department, I believe, for PES, has said that they will constantly be tweaking the referees and all that stuff, so that's good to hear. But that's a couple of things that I would love to see fixed. And here's a chance it away. Swansea just cannot get the ball. It's all PSG, as you probably would expect. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I don't even know what preset tactic 2 is, but we're going to give it a bank because it isn't happening right now. I'm just giving the ball away constantly because there's no one to give the ball to. I may look really bad right now, but trust me, it's difficult. Fucking hell, Taylor. I mean, when players do things like that, Jesus Christ. And here's Yulet. Lucky. And then Taylor gives it away again. Ibrahimovic. Skips around his man. And it's 2-0. And Swansea City are just getting outclassed, outplayed. And Yulet, with a bit of a cocky celebration there, says thank you very much. Ibrahimovic did well here. Defender came sliding in, laid it across, and that's a great finish by him. Right into the corner. Keeper absolutely no chance. And it's 2 0. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and do a little bit more matches. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, mix and match teams and see how they play. Here's a chance. Just, you know, because it's nice to see different teams. You know, I mean, I've said it many times. But uh, for me, FIFA, every team kind of plays the same. I mean, say what you want about it. You know, I've been playing PES and FIFA for years. You know, I've got some experience when it comes to these games. I'm not going to lie. At the end of the day, it is preference. But I like my games to be realistic enjoyable you know and I can sit down and play it but for me when I play FIFA yeah, you know you can play Swansea City like Arsenal you know you can play any team like Arsenal off the bar unlucky whereas on pairs you know you're seeing here I'm struggling I'm having a problem playing Swansea City and keeping possession because the players stats aren't good enough you're forced to play a different way, you know, a different style. He's up the line to Lita. He has got a chance here. He's going to have to hit this. It's not a bad effort by him. And it's cleared away. And that's the first chance they've had all game. And it's only taken 70 minutes. Guzman. He's unlucky. You know, and that's what I enjoy about Pez which has been lacking over the years but it has always been there under the hood but you know we'll see we'll see FIFA has its ups and downs overall FIFA is probably the better package but gameplay wise I'm enjoying PES here's Dyer. Nene back to Yulet, the goal scorer great challenge 
gets it wide. Thiago Silva. But uh, yeah, if someone wants to make a video of them playing the exact same game, see how you get on. Put it on Superstar. 10 minutes. No support. And, uh, you know, if you can win this game, bloody hell. Congratulations. It's not easy. Granted, it's tough to talk and play at the same time, but I enjoy it. Here's Lita. He's had a better second half than Graham did in the first. Sinclair. Oh, try to cut inside and get a shot away. But here's PSG. They will break. Yolette. Oh, looking for the goal scorer, Ibrahimovic. Taylor. Swansea is getting into the game now, but it's taken them too long. And they've run out of time, really. Augustin to Dyer. Oh, Dyer. My fault. Probably trying to do too much with the wingers. They're quick. But up against this kind of opposition, they haven't got the, uh, the skills and the physique. Ibrahimovic. Nene. He's still got it. Now I've got no movement down the other side. Here's Dyer. He's such a small player. That's the problem with him. He's quick. But he's about five foot five. Allen gets it wide to Sinclair. So what are you doing there? See, I wanted to change player. It wouldn't fucking let me. Annoying. Anyway, here's Lugano. We're into the last minute here. Armin. Pastore back to Armin. He's back in here. A little chip over the top, cleared away. Referee will look at his watch. Ibrahimovic. What a save from the keeper. And that will be the last chance of the game. As Swansea City. Just couldn't get it going today. End up losing two goals to nil. And as you can see, nine shots to two. It was a tough game. I'll tell you that. Very, very tough. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more videos as we continue to bash them out on a daily basis. But until next time, guys, take care.